How do I make a claim? The first thing you do is to contact a specialist solicitor like Gadsby Wicks and we will be able to assess your claim very quickly and then we will tell you the process that you'll need to go through to investigate that. And it can be quite a lengthy process. There's a lot of work we have to do to gather the evidence to enable your claim to succeed in court and we'll do that very carefully because we don't want to advise people to pursue claims that are going to fail. We want to make sure that we've got all the evidence in place to succeed. So how do I know, Julian, if I've actually got a claim? We have two nurses working here with us who have a lot of medical knowledge. You can call them and they will go through the details with you and can let you know very quickly whether or not we think it's something that we can help you with. It's not until we've carried out a detailed investigation that we'll be, be able to tell you for sure whether or not your claim will succeed, but we'll be able to give you a very clear idea at the outset as to whether it's worth investigating. Mm. And how long after the incident can I make a claim? There's a time limit of three years from the date when you know that you've suffered an injury, which might be the result of your medical treatment. For children, that three years doesn't start to run until they're 18, so they have until their 21st birthday. And if somebody has got a mental disability because of the injury that they've suffered, then their time limit never starts to run at all. I think the big question is how much compensation am I going to get? It's a very difficult question to answer at the outset. And obviously we would need to get details from the individual before we can give an idea about that. But even at the very early stages, knowing about the extent of the injury that's been suffered and whether or not there's any financial losses, we'll be able to give some idea. But it won't be until we've done a much more detailed investigation and got more information from you that we'll be able to give you a final idea of what we think you could expect to recover. And how is this calculated? In calculating financial compensation, the court take into account a number of things. The first is the severity of the injury and the impact that that has had on the individual's everyday life. It also takes into account the future. You know, what is the prognosis for that injury? Um, is the individual going to make a full recovery or are they going to be damaged for the rest of their lives? Having looked at all those things, the court will then calculate how much they've lost in financial terms whether they've lost earnings, whether they've got to pay for care, for physiotherapy, for special equipment, and all those things are taken into account in coming to a final figure. Can you get me more compensation than other people can? Consulting a clinical negligence specialist solicitor will certainly increase your chances of getting the best possible financial outcome. Doesn't it cost a lot of money to make a claim in the first place? If you consult Gadsby Wicks, we can give you a guarantee that we will never ask you to pay any money as the case proceeds and if you lose your case you won't have to pay anything at all and if you win then you pay us out of the compensation that you receive. How much will the client end up with if he wins? Well we give a guarantee to our clients that we won't ask them to pay any money at all while the case is going on. If they lose they will never pay anything at all and if they win we will guarantee that they will get at least 75% of the compensation that they're awarded.